So let's go again into inverse ratio. We have a case of, as you said, inverse ratio of A is to B is B is to A. So what could be the inverse ratio of 5 is to 9? Yes, its inverse ratio would be 9 is to 5. As it is, as I said earlier, the consequent and antecedent are getting interchanged. So in other words, and if you multiply the two, if you see 5 by 9 into 9 by 5, you get 1 is to 1. So two ratios are said to be inverses of each other if the product is 1. So one ratio is inverse of another if the product is 1. Coming to compound ratio of A is to B and C is to D is AC is to BD. So suppose A upon B is 3 by 7 and C upon D is uh, say 14 by 2. In that case, the compound ratio, as you say, of these two, that is A is to B and C is to D, is AC is to DD. So that's going to be 3, sorry, AC is to BD. So 3 into 14 upon 7 into 2, which will give you 3 is to 1. So the compound ratio of A is to B and C is to D in this case is 3 is to 1. Remember when duplication is a kind of a compounding, but you're compounding a particular ratio with itself. So we have the inverse ratio and compound ratio. Let's move further. You have the duplicate ratio. A ratio compounded to itself is a duplicate ratio. Thus the duplicate ratio of A is to B is A square is to B square. Shall we recap with an example? Yes, we can. Let's take 5 is to 4. So the duplicate ratio of 5 is to 4 would be equal to 5 square is to 4 square. That is 25 is to 16. So hence the duplicate ratio of A is to B is A square is to B square. Hence the duplicate ratio of 5 is to 4 is 5 square is to 4 square. 25 is to 16. Similarly, the duplicate ratio of 2 is to 3 would be 4 is to 9. Triplicate ratio, as indicated earlier, a ratio compounded to itself two times. That means you have a ratio A by B, you compound to itself two more times. That is A by B into A by B. And we get A cube by B cube and we call this as the triplicate ratio of A by B. Say for example, you have uh, 2 is to 5. So it's triplicate ratio. Look at triplicate ratio is 2 cube by 5 cube, which is going to be 2 cube 8 is to 125. So the triplicate ratio of a cube is to a b, a is to b is a cube is to b cube. Remember one thing, if 8 by 125 is the triplicate ratio of 2 by 5, then 2 by 5 is the sub triplicate ratio of this. So that they are again sharing a mutual reciprocal relationship. Again, we'll be taking up these further once more. We have the subduplicate ratio or the square root ratio. For example, if we have A is to B is duplicate ratio of C is to D. So if A is to B is a duplicate ratio of C is to D, that means A by B is nothing but C square by D square. And if you take the square root of this, taking square root, it means that C by D is going to be root A upon root B. Yes, then in that case, C by D is a subduplicate. That is, when you take the square root of A by B, you get C by D. So, when you have A by B is the duplicate ratio of C by D, then C by D is a subduplicate ratio of A is to B. Let's take this example. Find subduplicate ratio of 4 is to 9. It's going to be root 4 is to root 9, which is the same as 2 is to 3. Subduplicate ratio of 1 is to 25 is root 1 is to root 25, which is 1 is to 5. Subduplicate ratio of 16 is to 4 is root 16 is to root 4, which would be 4 is to 2. Remember, we need to simplify this further, which turns out to be 2 is to 1. Hence, we have the concept of subduplicate ratio. And quite similar to that, we have the subtriplicate ratio. Subtriplicate ratio or the cube root ratio. 
Again, if A is to B is a triplicate ratio of C by D. That means when you cube the terms of C by D, C cubed by D cubed, you're getting A by D, which means when you're compounding C by D with itself two more times, you get a ratio A by B. Now, if you take the cube root on both sides, we get C by D is equal to cube root of A upon cube root of B, which means that C by D is the subtriplicate ratio of A by B. That is a cube root ratio of A by B. Hence, thus, this example once more tells you that the triplicate ratio and subduplicate ratio share a relationship, reciprocal relationship of this. Let's take this example, find the subtriplicate ratio of 8 is to 27. It's going to be cube root of 8 is to cube root of 27, which is going to be 2 is to 3. Subtriplicate ratio of 1 is to 25 is cube root of 1 is to cube root of 125, which is again 1 is to 5. The last one, 64 is to 27, cube root of 64 is to cube root of 27 is going to be 4 is to 3. Hence, we have the concept of subtriplicate ratio or we also call it as a cube root ratio. Let's move ahead. Finally, we have the continued ratio. So, a ratio which are expressed in more than two quantities. That means, as I say, A is earnings is to B's earnings is to C's earnings is say X is to Y is to Z. So we have A's earnings to B's earnings to C's earnings. It becomes a continued ratio. It involves more. And suppose you put in D's earnings, it's a continued ratio with four terms. So that's a quick summary of the various types of ratios. 